Yes. Yep. You want me near a microphone? <laughs> Sorry. Let me speak into this thing. All right, I'm, I'm Ken Pauly. This is uh, Grant Bessie right here, uh, Christian Horn, and uh, Justin uh, Justin Qualley. Ken, uh, two plus months ago, did you ever dream that the journey would end in this place right here? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, certainly. I, I, um, I think what's kind of gotten lost in, in all this is that this is a very talented hockey team. And, uh, you know, we were ranked among the top three, four teams in the state um, at the beginning at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, Grant Bessie, we knew was a phenomenal talent, as is Christian Horn. Uh, we knew Justin Qualley, we had, um, you know, one of the top goalies in the state, go right down, right down the line. So there's a lot of talent. So I, I, you know, I imagine that. I didn't imagine that would end here in this fashion and everything, you know, that, is, that has taken place. Yeah, I, I think the, um, I mean, it's just been, it, it's been emotional, it's been psychological, it's been spiritual, it's been life-changing, and, and those are things that you can't always say about a season. Um, there's a lot of great things you can say about a season, win, win or lose, but life-changing, uh, you know, uh, I mean, guys are, you're always asking, coaches always speak in cl cliches about a kid growing up. And, you know, he really grew up this year, and we say he really grew up, we're talking about, well, he got 20 more goals, or, you know, he's more responsible. But um, I, you know, I, I watched a bunch of, bunch of guys in front of me, um, you know, really grow um, in, 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 a, in a million different ways as, as young men, you know, in terms of caring about, uh, you know, caring about someone else, and, uh, and not just putting words to it, you know, putting, uh, putting action to it. Um. Ever win here? Oh, your performance? Well, yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I uh, I'm not, I, you said, tell you what, I'm not, I mean, believe me, for me, this is, yeah, I expect him to get five goals. Oh, like, three of them are shorthanded? That's a hell of a penalty kill, by the way. But I, uh, <laughs> just need a few more, huh? We, we, we're working on it. Um, I, I, his, you know, I, I've watched Grant fill the net the last couple of years, and he was getting five, you know, five, you know six, four goal performances, um, you know, against a, a number of different, number of different teams, and and uh, uh, and of course in this venue, on this stage for him to do it, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want him to get a, you know, big head, but um, you know, he. Uh, uh, he just wrote himself in the state tournament history. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a Spihar type performance. Anyone in high school hockey knows what that means. And, uh, and that's what Grant did. Grant, was there any indication to you that you were going to have this kind of night? Uh, probably not. I mean, no one, no one comes into a state championship game thinking you're going to score five goals. I mean, you think it's going to be a hard fought defensive battle, maybe 3 2, 2 1. So I don't think, uh, no, I did not expect to score five goals. Then how do you describe? How, how do you I don't know if you can really put words to it. I mean, I mean it was an amazing experience. I mean, just, just to have that experience for myself and to be with my teammates and win this championship, I mean, it's awesome. Brandon, you guys had a chance to, to see Jack and speak with him? Yeah, he was in the locker room, so uh, we entered there and um, he erupted. I mean, we all went nuts seeing him down there. What was said to what did you guys say to him what he said to you? Uh, what he said to me, he just shook his head and smiled. but. Uh, he was excited. He was yelling. He was he was getting pumped up. So uh, that just got all of us even more pumped up. Was that before the game or after? After. <laughs> Made a good save. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know he was, uh, you know he, he was DQ'd, and um, and I, I was not aware because I've never been in this situation before. But um, I was not aware that if you are uh, DQ'd, you cannot take part in Minnesota State High School League, you know, you know ceremony. So. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm deeply disappointed, you know, in that. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's, you know. That's the rules. Don't get you don't get DQ'd. It's there. You know, it's there for a reason. Um, 
but um, I, I, you know, I guess, uh, you know, I, I, I get it, but um, I would like to see a little bit more humanity behind the rule, too. And Kenny, did you give Jeff your medal? Did, did you give Jeff your medal? Oh, I'll, well, I'll, I'll give him what the hell he wants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, no, I, I, I put my pie, but quite frankly, I don't like what coaches, I'm just afraid I'm going to fall off those things, so I'd never like that they bring coaches there, but uh, we'll, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to give him a medal, for sure. Yeah. Ken, was there a sense of emotional release at the end of this game that the there? Yeah, you know, it's, um, I'll tell you, I, I, I've, I've been fortunate enough to win a couple other, you know, state championships, and it is a, um, um, it's it's a it's a different it's a different feeling. It really is. Um, in in some ways, the loser is a little more fortunate because they can um, uh, experience a real emotion. Um, you know, here you win and think, oh great, and now what? And I think that realization for all these guys uh, that, you know, the tears that come with it being the last game and, and, and all of that, uh, you know, so. Um, but I think, again, considering, you know, you know, the situation, you know, we've all just kind of kept moving forward and I, it, um, it is a relief and, uh, and a release all at once. Uh, yeah, earlier this year, um, or I don't know about this year, but yeah. oh yeah, against Bloomington Jefferson I had five, and then um, last year against Chisago Lakes I had uh, five. What did you feel your role on this team was this year? Uh, you know, I think it was to put the puck in the net, but I think it was also to be a re reliable defensive source out there. I mean, on the penalty kill, I mean, coach feels uh, enough. Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Confidence. Confidence in me. <laughs> To uh, put me out there on <laughs> in a defensive situation, so I think that uh, that uh, played into it too. To any of the players, uh, any sense that there wasn't just your community backing you? It almost seemed like there was maybe sixteen other thousand people that were in Bill's corner versus corner that doesn't have Jack. Um, you know, I, I could see it maybe a little bit, uh, just because, you know, with the whole Jack thing, I mean, the whole state of Minnesota, the whole nation has been behind him through all of this. So I think there was a little bit more support for us uh, through outside sources. Christian, what have these past few months kind of been like going through for you guys and just the emotional work? Um, definitely a dream come true. Uh, you know, co coming into sections, you, I, you know, week after week, you know, night after night, had dreams that we were um, actually playing in the state tournament, and I woke up, and I was mad at myself. I was like, oh, that's not till like, another month. But um, now that it's actually happened, uh, you don't really know what to feel. Like uh, Coach said, it's, you're on such a high emotion level that um, you don't really know, know how to put it in words almost. And um, honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better way for it to happen. I, I couldn't have asked for a better, you know, group of, group of guys to have it with. Um, I love every everyone on our team, and this is probably the greatest experience of my entire life. You know, I was fortunate to score a big goal Friday night, but this tops it all. And um, it was kind of funny, you know. Once you know it's best, you score one goal, you know he's going to get some more, and they just kept coming and coming. And um, you know, that's putting the team on your back. Um. I'd have to say a lot. I think we really figured out that the entire state was behind our back after that Edina win. Um, hearing that place kind of roar um, with those 23 seconds left really kind of opened our eyes to see who, you know, people really wanted to see us win. And then walking around the X, you know, at the Expo and everything, pe random people just coming up to you saying, hey, we're rooting for you. You know, go get it done. Um, you know, it shows how uh, close this commu hockey community is and how much people really care for one kid. And, uh, you know, we couldn't have done it a better way. Besides the offensive performance of uh, Grant tonight, how, uh, how strong was the team's defense, obviously, tonight? What were your feelings about how the team played it defensively for, for anyone? Well, I think, you know, it felt like half the time we were on the penalty kill anyways. But, uh, like I said, like Coach said, three of Grant's goals were shorthanded. And um, they were having trouble finding, you know, just um, – they're having a tough time just getting pucks through on the penalty kill. I think, you know, that was the best, you know, defensive game we've probably played all year. And, uh, 
you know, in the beginning it was a little shaky. They had a couple, uh, you know, odd man rushes and everything like that. You know, I can't play the best defense, but Q was there to back us up, and he played amazing through all these last six games. And, um, you know, we really stepped up our defense because we knew we had the defense all year. Um, people doubted that, you know, as us, you know, from us as a team, and we knew we had it, and I think, it, you know, it showed. We, we do have one of the best defenses in the state. Oh, I mean, I don't know the word we're just easy, but I mean, it definitely gives you some more confidence knowing that he's back there and he's going to stop the puck. So, so I say I missed the night. I mean, give an odd man rush back. I mean, you know he's going to be back there to stop the puck. So I think it gives us a little bit more confidence as shooters to uh, maybe try and pick some corners and try to score. You scored five goals tonight, obviously. At what point did you kind of feel like that was that? Um, I don't know, maybe after the, the fourth one. Um, when uh, Jake took that uh, five-minute major, and um, about 10 seconds into it, I find myself on a breakaway. So uh, probably after that goal, I thought, uh, you no, know, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't really know what to think, man. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever dreamed of scoring five goals in a state championship. So uh, you know, I had to check back into reality for a second. Take in everything and you know realize uh, what had happened. Grant, did I see the pregame tweet that you heard from your hockey idols pregame? No. That was mine. Yours? That was me. Yes, <laughs> that was me. Yeah, Jerry Marone. I could actually uh, give him coach a call, and coach let me talk to him for a little bit. And uh, you know, Jeremy gave me a couple words of advice and everything. Told me to bring it home. And uh, honestly. Yeah, talking to Jeremy Ronick on the phone, you don't really realize what you're doing until it's over. But uh, you know, it was you know, it was unbelievable. You know, you're talking to a hockey legend on the phone, and he's talking to you like he's one of your best friends. Uh, no, he told me to go. He told me to go out there and score. But once I realized Bessie had one, I figured I'd give him the rest. <laughs> It means a lot. Um, I don't know. It's crazy just playing for jabs every single night and having the whole uh, our whole school behind our back. It's it's really great support. It's crazy. Justin, how's it changed your play for the better part of two years? You rotated and you're the guy in the playoffs. How has that how did that change your outlook? Um, well, I knew I was going to have to work really hard to get the starting spot, and that's what I did. And just made me a better goalie and made me. More relaxed than that, so I don't know. I guess I can play in big games now. It's fun. <laughs> Feel really relaxed in the games, and it was really surprising to me. All right. Thank you. Very much. Right, thank you. Congratulations.